Now, pressure is mounting and patience is thinning rapidly over the pro-democracy demonstrations taking place in Hong Kong. Now, we're going to take a look at this and other global headlines, as we always do with our Eunice Kim, who's standing by for us at the News Centre. Good morning, Eunice. Hello, Mark. So, student leaders are now threatening to occupy government buildings if Hong Kong's embattled chief executive doesn't step down. That's right, Mark, and that ultimatum came with a deadline of roughly 24 hours. The tension over the standoff, continuing for several days now, reverber reverberated all the way to Washington, D.C., where the top diplomats of the United States and China traded comments on the issue ahead of their talks on Wednesday. Let's take a listen. And as uh, China knows, we support... Uh, universal suffrage in Hong Kong according with the basic law and we believe an open society with the highest possible degree of autonomy and uh, governed by rule of law is essential for Hong Kong's stability and prosperity. Hong Kong affairs are China's internal affairs. All countries should respect China's sovereignty and this is also a basic principle governing international relations. Foreign Minister Wang Yi went on to say in any society, illegal acts violating public order would not be tolerated. He is the highest level Chinese official to directly address the Hong Kong protests. And in mass media, the party run People's Daily in China warned of, quote, unimaginable consequences should the sit ins persist. While state TV in Hong Kong declared that residents should support decisive police action meant to restore order. There are concerns that police aggression could step up again if student demonstrators storm government buildings, as they had threatened to do if Hong Kong's chief executive, C.Y. Leung, does not step down by Thursday.